This video documents something that may never have been seen, much less recorded before. Here we have a group of tadpole snails, also called bladder snails, who have built a structure that they are using to rapidly ascend to the surface of the water, replenish their air supply, and descend again. I call it a snail elevator. The foundation of the structure is an algae wafer that they are feeding on. The structure is made of the snail's mucus, which is very solid underwater. I have no idea how the structure came to exist. It seems to have happened overnight. We discovered it in the morning. It was a weekday morning and I had to go to work, but I got out the camera and shot this as best as I could at the time. By the time I got home at the end of the day, the structure was gone and this never happened again. I had already seen tadpole snails swimming vertically up through the water to the surface and back down again. I discovered that as they swam up, they spun an invisible string of mucus that they then used to guide themselves as they swam back down. It has been my observation that only about 1 in 30 or maybe 3% of tadpole snails figure out how to swim vertically up for air. The others would climb up sides of whatever container they were in. So my best guess is that several of these snails decided to swim vertically from the algae wafer to the surface and somehow their mucus strands merged together to form this column that you see in the video. Then the other snails discovered it and started using it. I have no idea how the pieces of algae you see in the column got there. The irony here is that these tadpole snails are perhaps the most despised snails in the world of aquarium enthusiasts. I have never seen them sold as pets, but they often infest the aquariums of pet stores and fish owners, and when you read about them on the internet, it is often in the context of someone wondering what to do with them. Few aquarium enthusiasts seem to know that if these tadpole snails are left alone in still water for a while, they will start swimming vertically up and down in the water and horizontally across the surface of the water. Pet store employees likely never get to see this because they are always running pumps in their tanks and moving the water around at a tremendous rate, making it impossible for the tadpole snails to swim. This community of tadpole snails started out in my aquarium. I don't know for sure how they got there, but I'm guessing that some eggs may have been stuck to a plant that was put in the tank. They came out of nowhere and multiplied rapidly, and I eventually decided to pick them all out of the aquarium and put them in a separate container. I thought they were cool and I didn't want to exterminate them. If they were in a separate container, I could control the population by getting rid of the eggs as they appeared. This all happened about five years ago. I am not an aquarium hobbyist anymore, but don't worry, I did not destroy the snails. I forgot exactly where they ended up, but I did find a home for them. I would not want to destroy the Leonardo da Vinci of tadpole snails. This video ends with some sideways shots, which I know a lot of people don't like, but in order to get the entire elevator in one shot up close, I had to go sideways. That's all for me. Enjoy the rest of the video.